So it's really important, whatever the age, to just go through, first of all, literally how to start and how to skip. Important points to follow. Your feet are always together in a starting position. So glued together would be what we say. Your elbows are down by side and they're nicely relaxed but tucked in to the side. And as you can see, the handles are just resting down by the side of my body. Now importantly, if you look at the handles of the rope, there is a wider bit of the rope handle. That should be near the little finger. The thinner bit of the handle where the rope comes out of, that is near the thumbs. That is how to hold the rope properly. So in that starter position, as you can see, See, nice and balanced in a straight line. The only bend you're going to use here is not from your body, it's from your knees. So if the children need to get to a bit more cushioning as they skip, let's bend those knees down like that. What we're going to do to start with is an overland step. This is just to give the children the start right here. So over the head, land by the feet, and they literally then can step over it. For a child that is struggling, what they need to do is connect the idea of the rope hitting the ground and then the action taking place. They don't want to move too early because they'll land before the rope comes round. So this will just help them to connect the idea of the rope hits and they do the action nicely. And then an overland jump. So the rope comes over the head, hits the ground and you jump as the rope hits, keeping those elbows nicely tucked in. Make sure your children, as they're skipping, are keeping their head really nice and balanced and they're staying really calm and relaxed as they turn the rope. They don't try too hard as it will make it much more difficult. Relaxed and calm as they skip. 